Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Porto's Buena Park. Yes, Buena Park. Uh, it's a big one. Yeah, this is uh, famous for their uh, Cuban food mm -hmm. and Cuban Busy. bakery items. Busy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They've been around since 1960 and they have five locations throughout mm -hmm. Southern California. And this is their newest flagship location here in Buena Park. It is humongous here. Yeah, it's, it's huge. pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the it's day before Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And it's very crowded because people are picking up their last minute potato balls and yeah. pies and cakes. And yep. And those are everything. the stuff that we're going to try. So we're yeah. going to come along with us because it's going to be a yummy lunch. Yes. We're going to have some Cuban sandwiches maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Let's eat. special sandwich here. It's the guava barbecue. Bar guava barbecue sandwich. Yeah, pork sandwich, right? Yeah, bar guava barbecue pork sandwich. Lovely. Look at all that slaw on there. And everything comes with their fried plantains. It's gonna be a good, it's gonna be good. What we have here is the Cubano. This is the, probably the most popular Cuban sandwich there is. I guess it's what, uh, roast beef, ham, turkey, and with cheese, pickles, some uh, mustard, and they, and they press it in a, I guess like a panini press. So we're gonna go in for a bite. It's really uh, crispy and nice and hot. Uh -huh. It's good. The flavors of the meats and the cheese, they all blend so perfectly. And it's dripping. Some juicy goodness right off my plantain. It tastes like banana chips. Oh, that's butter. Butter was dripping out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great sandwich. Nice brioche bun. It's a little bit of it to shine, so but it's not greasy or oily. Ah, oh, it's a packed in sandwich in there. Looks pretty good. This sandwich is not an easily eaten sandwich. You picked it up and everything starts falling out. Look, giant pieces of meat. Look at that. Giant chunks of meat in there. Let's take this bite. That's perfect goodness. You can tell they really take their time roasting this pork. It's a little bit of sweet. It's sweet, you can't really taste the guava, but you can taste the sweetness of it. The marinade is all the way through the meat, which is really good. It's matched with that slaw and the really good bread and the sauce they have on it. This is an excellent sandwich. I'd recommend this sandwich. I just want to show you the size of this pork chunk. Look at that chunk of pork right there. That's why this sandwich is really hard to hold. It's really falling apart everywhere. Here we go. Mm. It has a very good smoky flavor to it. Very tender. Like you said, I don't have a lot of guava. Is it guava? Maybe it's part of the barbecue sauce is the guava. But there is a slight hint of a sweetness to it, so it might be that. But as far as the pork, juicy, smoky, tender. The three criteria of a good pork sandwich. Mm -hmm. 
Bono. The bread. So crunchy. And it's not too bready as you can tell. It's bread and it's really thin. So you're getting a lot of the insides of the sandwich, not just bread. The, the three meats and that dressing they have on this, that really makes the sandwich. It's a really good sandwich. I recommend this when you come to Porto's. This is their staple here. I recommend you guys getting this one. These here are, it's like I got the basic and the best of what Porto's is known for. So this is the guava cheese danish and one regular cheese roll that they call. Yeah, I remember these cheese rolls. They're really good. This one is the pineapple custard that they had. These are just because we wanted them. These are not what they're known for, but we wanted it. So the pineapple custard and they have a seasonal pumpkin cheesecake. We'll see if we can have room to dig into those later, but we just wanted to show you. Again, it's a seasonal thing. The pineapple custard I think they have all the time, but we just got it because we wanted it. This is what they're also known for. They do big ones like this, but these are little small ones. They're also known for their fruit charts. So fresh, huh? Yeah, Dragon so pretty. Fruit. Just the colors just pop. Yes. Yeah. These are our savory items. What we got is what they are known for here. This is the potato ball, which they're known for. They're, this is their seasonal again. This is a turkey and gravy potato ball. And he wanted a chorizo pie. So we're gonna crack these open. So the first potato ball we're gonna try is the one that they're known for. What, if you come to Porto's, this is an average potato ball. These are like a dollar five cents or something around there. These are amazing. Let me open that up so you can see. There you go. All that ground meat inside and it's covered in mashed potatoes and they're fried. It's like a shepherd's pie ball. It's a shepherd's pie ball. Yeah. But the shepherd's pie has a, a... Peas and carrots. Oh yeah, so that's missing. It has some veggies in there but it's very slight in there. Take this bite. Mm. Onions. The meat's perfectly seasoned. Mashed potato is creamy. They fry up. You can't go wrong. These are really popular if you come to Porto's. These are popular. If you're taking these to a party, you're a hit. This is all you need. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So well, this is one of their popular meat pies. They have different fillings, but this happens to be the chorizo one. I like chorizo. Kind of looks like a like a Star Trek emblem, a little bit. But here we go. Oh, you could tell that orange color from the chorizo sausage. It looks like it has some red uh, peppers inside flaky crust. We're going for the bite here and see how it is. It's not bad. It's The temperature of it is kind of cold. I think it would be a lot better if it was warm. I mean, no fault to them. It's been sitting here for a while. The outside pastry shell is flaky. It's good. This is definitely a good feeling snack if you were to have this just by itself. The sausage itself is not spicy at all, but it has a good chorizo flavor. This is the turkey and gravy potato ball, so the same thing. In the potato balls, they have the mashed potatoes on the outside and it's fried. I put a little bit of seasoning on the outside since it's a turkey one. Wow, that looks really good. It has that, those pieces of carrots in there, good pieces of turkey in there. Let's take a bite of this one. Mm. 
those seasonings, those spices come out really good. And this turkey, you can taste the turkey. That gravy is like legit. It's a really good potato bomb. I wish I had these all year round. I just know they're seasonal. It's like Thanksgiving balls. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving balls, baby. Dessert time. Dessert time. We're gonna first try, or I'm gonna cut into this guava cheese. Little Danish here. Let's see what that looks like. Nice, a little sticky on the outside. There we go. See all that guava in there? Let's try this. And the cheese in there. So let's try this out. Very taste of guava. Very prominent in this one. So if you're not a guava fan, don't get this. But look at the guava. What I was just telling him. Up. In a lot of places, when you get sandwiches and stuff, it's very ready. The bread is so thick, it's hard to eat the sandwiches and the pastries. There's so much of the dough that you don't get the filling. Here, it's quite the opposite. You get a little less dough and a lot of the filling, the sandwiches, it's not as bready. And there's a lot of stuff that goes in that sandwich, which is awesome. The suava cheese danish is really good. This is their famous cheese roll. Just to get an idea what it looks like. It is definitely crunchy on the top. Very nice sheen. It looks like a little bit of sugar crystals maybe on top. And I'm not sure what kind of cheese it has. Some sort of cream cheese, I think. Okay, like a sweet cream cheese, I believe. So here it is. Not much of a cutaway picture but you can tell that something is there for sure. Let's try this out here. Immediately you taste the sugar crystal top where it's nice and crispy. That comes out first. And then the sweet cream cheese. Here it is like a Not overly sweet. It's perfect. Our final dessert here at Porto's. We have their famous um, fruit tart. I almost forgot to what it's called. There, you see that P in there? It looks like a chef's hat, but there's a P in there for Porto's. This fruit tart, they sell giant usually. Yeah. Really inexpensive, 25 bucks, especially because this is what they're known for. This one was only a couple bucks, but the big ones I know are like 25. Go check and it's still cut into this. Let's see if I can do a clean cut. Oh, everything is falling off. Oh well, I tried. There you go. The as you can tell, the crust is just flaking like crazy. That's what it looks like on the inside. That yummy custard in there, as you can see. Let's try this. Try this thing out right here. Got a grab of the custard, put my raspberry and my blueberry on there. There you go. That fruit tastes so fresh. This custard here, it's only a slight, slight sweetness to it. Tastes like a little hint of vanilla in there. This fruit, they have this sheen on top of it. I believe it's like, it has to be some sort of a sweeter syrup because the fruit is really sweet. And it matches perfectly with this really fall apart pastry. And it's just also just beautiful to look at. Wrapping things up here from Porto Bakery, that, Buena Park. That is really good. Uh, just a little tip, if you come before, the day before Thanksgiving, it looks like this, the crowd. Yeah, You'll super see. crowded. And it's raining on top of it. Um, they do pre-order on cakes, they're known for cakes, so pre-order in advance, it's much quicker. 
that this was a good outing for us, huh, baby? Yeah, it was. Uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and yeah. they are actually open. All locations are open on Thanksgiving from like 4 a.m. to, no, like no, 5 a.m. to 4, 4, 4 p.m. Yeah, you pick up your cakes, your pastries, anything you want. Yeah, so. Um, be sure to allow time, you know, because it is busy here. They go really fast. They go as fast as they can. Everybody's super nice, but it's yeah. busy. So those who live, are lucky enough to live next to a Porto's, and you want to pick some stuff up for Thanksgiving, they're open. So yeah, good, huh? That's it, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, we had the pumpkin cheesecake and the pineapple. We were too full to try it. Yeah. But I'm almost positive that it's they're gonna really be awesome. delicious. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching our Poto's lunch. Um, great food. Great uh, Cuban pastries. Great right? company. Have it. Oh, you're the best, babe. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Catch you guys in the next one.